Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. I'm really excited to be bringing you a new project introduction. This is the Labor of Love It project pan. I've been doing this every summer for several years. This is the shortest project I do in any given year. This one flies by really fast and I'm kind of getting used to the longer projects overall. I'm such a slow project panner that I really need like year long project pans. But this one's a little bit different than a typical project pan. The focus of this project is more on using products that you love instead of working towards finishing products. So it kind of takes the pressure off of panning hardcore. Not that I ever really pan hardcore. I just try to be consistent, but you know, this project was created by my good friend, Nikkel. Her name is Tinkerbell Rocks, and I will have her Instagram account linked down below so that you could check her out if you're not following her already over on Instagram. She does not have a YouTube channel at this time, but um, go check her out on Instagram. And this is a collab, so I will have others that I know of that are doing this project linked down below as well. If this project sounds like fun to you and you would like to join in, please do so, because you are more than welcome to. You could always DM Nicole over on Instagram and let her know you're interested or just use the hashtag labor of love it wherever you post your intro on social media. So the whole point is to work on 10 products for the next 11 weeks and enjoy them and love them. I actually have several products that I'm putting into this project this time around that I am hoping to finish but others I just would like to use and enjoy as much as possible. So let's get into it and I will show you the products I have chosen. When I think about everything I'm currently project panning by category, there's not a whole lot of gaps that need to be filled right now. Like I have multiple eyeshadows I'm project panning, multiple lip products, multiple face products. I have lots of everything that I'm already project panning, but there is one thing I'm gonna need before this project runs out, and that is a body wash. So I decided to pull in this Bath & Body Works body wash in the scent Beautiful Day. There's an apple on the cover and it states this delightful scent is a lively blend of sun-kissed apple, sparkling cassis, and wild daisies, brightened by fresh pink peony and creamy musk. The reason I chose this is because I think it would be a nice scent to use during the summer and also because this particular bottle of body wash is not attached to a body spray or a body lotion in the same scent. It's like a freestanding body wash that I could use because I still have body sprays that I'm working on and I still have body lotions that I'm working on. So I didn't want to pick a body wash that had another product attached to it because I like to use those up at the same time. This guy is on his own and I think it would be a nice scent for summer. I have used it a few times. The bottle is not completely full, but it has been a long time since I used it. This was actually this was actually gifted to me by a student's, by a student of mine. His mother bought it for me, which I think is just the sweetest. As an OT, I very rarely receive gifts from parents. It's much more common for teachers to get gifts, but OTs rarely get gifts. So this is kind of special that a parent thought of me at a, I think it was at Christmas time. Maybe it was the end of the year. I'm not sure, but it's very sweet and I'm honored. I don't work with that boy anymore, but I loved it. So I don't know if I could finish this in the next 11 weeks. That seems a little bit lofty, but I would like to get as much use out of this as I can because like I said, I actually will be needing a body wash very soon. I'm probably gonna finish the one I'm working on first before I start this, but I think that one's only gonna last another week, maybe two. Like I said earlier, I've done this project many years over the last, I don't know how many times I've done this project, but this is not my first time. Maybe this is the fourth time I've done this project and I almost always put a perfume in this project, a summery perfume that I would love to wear for the next 11 weeks to see how much progress I could get out of it. I tend to usually go for a full size perfume that I know I can't realistically finish, but I figure 11 weeks of regular use would be good. But I'm up to here in perfume, so I didn't feel like I could roll in a full size perfume at this time, but I did find three samples to put in. And so for one number, I am counting all three of these samples. The first one I reached for was this scent called Valentino. Um, I think the brand is called Valentino. I think the scent is called Voce Vita. 
I don't know. I'm guessing that's what it is. I have already used almost all of this perfume. It's almost gone. I actually really like this scent very, very much. So I would like to finish that off, but when I saw how little was actually left in this sample, I thought you can't put that as a number. So I pulled two others. This is a sample of Marc Jacobs Daisy. I know a lot of people own this scent, but I've never used it. I've never owned it. And then I found this Sol de Janeiro perfume in Sol Chir Chirosa, Chirosa 62. I didn't even know I had this. I didn't even know Sol de Janeiro made perfume. So I was a little surprised to see this, but I would like to use this up. I do associate Sol de Janeiro with summery, sh with, with summery scents. That's hard to say. I do associate Sol de Janeiro with summery scents. Let's see what it says. The warmth and rhythms of Brazil, alive and irresistible, to capture the heart of summer. This is a scent of Chirosa 62, blended with addictive gourmand notes of salted caramel, pistachio, jasmine petals, and vanilla to touch all the senses. Feel the scent of summer. Psst, Brazilian bum bum cream lovers, this fragrance is your dream come true. I'm very excited about this. So those three perfume samples are going to count as one item in this project. And my goal is to finish all three. It seems really easy, but it is surprisingly hard for me to go through one of these samples. So I'll have to work at it. Okay, next I am bringing back my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I had this in, was it Project 10 Uses? I don't remember. I had this in a project, I think it was Project 10 Uses, a few months ago. And when I realized how little product was actually in this sample, granted it was a free sample, but when I opened it, it was like here. And I couldn't believe it. And so I used it 10 times and now it's down to like here. So I would like to enjoy this product and finish it off and get it out of my inventory because there is basically no product in here whatsoever. I'm guessing maybe 10 more uses and this will be gone. So I am rolling this in for number three. For my fourth product, I am bringing back my Physician's Formula Super BB Cream. This is almost gone. It is really hard to see how much product is in here for the most part because of whatever this like shrink wrap is around the bottle. But if you look right here, look at that. That's space right there. This is almost gone. And it's a deeper shade, it's my summer shade, and I was working on it last year, and I worked on it until I literally had to stop working on it because it became too dark for me. But I want this gone this year. I need to finish this. I would love to get this out of my inventory. My inventory for BB creams and CC creams has basically been the same for several years, and I want that number to go down this year. And I think I could finish this with like a month of daily use, if that. I don't think it will even take that long. I actually really like this product. It's the perfect amount of coverage. And so I do think I will probably cut the bottle open and scrape out whatever I can to get the most of the, to get as much product out as possible. But um, yeah, I don't think it will be that hard to finish up. And I cannot believe I couldn't get this done last year. It's a little bit disappointing. My fifth product is coming out of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. I think this is the second year, the second holiday edition. I don't remember. It's old. They've come out with several of these since. Um, and I want to finish this shade right here, which is called Diffused Light. I had this product in Pan and Every Palette for a long time, and I fell in love with this powder as an under eye setting powder. As you can see, I have hit major pan. There's just some product left along the sides and it's pretty flat. I don't know if I could finish this in the next 11 weeks or not, but I kind of knew the second I rolled it out of that project that this would be getting rolled into this project this summer because this is a love. This is an absolute love and I would love to enjoy it for the next 11 weeks and we will see how much damage I could do on this. Maybe I could finish it, I don't know. The way I really enjoyed using this product is with a damp sponge. I would take a beauty blender or you know, real technique sponge, dampen it and kind of drag the sponge over the product and then dab it on my eyes. Obviously with this much pan showing, I don't know if I could still use that method to pick up product. I might have to switch back to a brush and maybe I won't like it as much that way, 
but this is a product I am 100% considering buying a full size of once my numbers get down a little bit because it's so good. I love it. So I'd like to finish off this pan right here. The sixth product I'm bringing into this project is NARS Hot Sand. This is a beautiful peachy highlighter. I just posted a summer shop by stash yesterday in collaboration with Samantha Pans and I talked about this product quite a bit, but basically I heard about this product through Kathleen Lights. She recommended it. She said it was a beautiful peachy highlight and I think this is one of the most flattering highlights for me and my skin tone ever. I would highly recommend this product. If your skin coloring is anywhere close to mine, I think this works great. And I don't have a goal for this. I just wanna enjoy this for the next 11 weeks. It has been sitting in a drawer for way too long and I would like to get as much use as I feel like out of it. I will go ahead and keep track of how many times I use this and at the very least I would like to use it five times but hopefully I use it every day for the next 11 weeks. I don't know but I would really like to get some more use out of this because I think it's been sitting in a drawer for two years probably, maybe three. I don't know, a long time. So I'm pulling this back out and giving myself full permission to enjoy this as much as possible over the next 11 weeks. Basically all the rest of the products I'm gonna be talking about came from that summer shop my stash. So I'm gonna stop saying that over and over, but <laughs> no, I won't. I'm gonna keep saying it over and over. But number seven is this little sample of MAC pigment in the shade Melon. This is gorgeous. It's like a pinky shade with a very reflective coppery golden shift. It is the kind of pigment that makes me desperately wish that I had blue eyes because I think everybody with blue eyes would look amazing with this on their eyelids. But I'm gonna do the best I can to pull it off. And I just wanna use this five times and get some use out of it. Maybe one day I will finish off the sample and get it out of my inventory. But for now, I would just like to use it five times. You might be surprised to see what product I rolled in for number eight but I decided to bring in a nail polish, which is crazy because I have basically not painted my nails for the last year and a half. And then I painted them finally this week and I'm falling in love with nail polish all over again. I wanna use this three times throughout the summer. I think that's an achievable goal, but I mean, you have to paint your nails to achieve a goal. And I have not been painting my nails, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can use this three times over the next 11 weeks. I will count a pedicure as one time as well. So we'll see, but I would like to use this over the next 11 weeks three times because this is just such a good summer shade. I mean, you could wear it any time, but I would love to wear this this summer. Three times, that's all I gotta do. For number nine, I decided to roll in a lip gloss. I know I'm treading on dangerous ground by bringing any new lip products into a project right now because I have so many lip products and projects right now, but I can't help myself. Look at this, it is orange and I want to wear this. This is a Sephora lip gloss in the shade Orange Juice and I would like to just enjoy this and use it as much as possible. Like NARS Hot Sand, I will track my usage, but I don't have any usage goals for this. I just wanna use it as much as possible. And again, hopefully I will use it at least five times, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I just want it in the project and I wanna give myself permission to use it as much as I want over the next 11 weeks. So yeah, I'm excited about this. And then finally, the 10th product that I have decided to roll in is an eyeshadow quad. Yikes, I am bringing in more eyeshadow. I told myself this morning when I was planning this project, do not bring in any more eyeshadow, but I am bringing in more eyeshadow because I cannot help myself. This is the Lime Crime Plushies Palette in Fresh Squeezed. And um, I have restricted myself from using this for the last couple of years because I was working on other eyeshadows and I'm not gonna do that this year. This year, I'm gonna use this if I want to use it. I have set a goal for using any eyeshadow in this palette five times, yes. I would like to use any eyeshadow from this palette five times. So even if I only use one shadow twice and the other shadows one time, I will count that as goal met, but I, 
have been hoarding this inside of a drawer for several years because I needed to pan, I needed to focus on other eyeshadows, I needed to pan other eyeshadows, and this year I would like to just use this five times. I don't think, I don't think that's a ridiculous ask. So I'm definitely thinking that mango and dragon fruit will be the two that get the most uses. However, I did an eye look yesterday and I really could have gone for this orange juice shade. I really could have used a bold orange. And um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. I will let you know which shadows I use and how many times. But I would like to reach for this palette a minimum of five times over the next 11 weeks. Sounds easy enough. All right, guys, that is it for this intro. I'm so excited to be starting this project for whatever year this is. I feel like I feel like it's the fourth or the fifth, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's the fourth. There was one year that I didn't do it because I was ill. I was too ill to do it. So I don't know how many years I've done this now, but I love this project. I love the idea of a project that gives me full permission to just enjoy what I have and to shop my stash for 10 products that I haven't been enjoying and just enjoy them until Labor Day. It just is so great. So yeah, this project ends on Labor Day. Did I mention that? This project ends on Labor Day, which falls on September 6th this year. So it runs 11 weeks from today, June 20th, until September 6th. Those are the parameters, 10 products, all that you love. You don't have to set goals to finish anything. You could just give yourself permission to enjoy them and use them and give Nikkel credit because this is her project. So thank you guys so much for watching this project introduction. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.